Okay, now that we got our groups up and everything, and we got the gain stage going, we can sit here and trim down some of these wave files uh, by using strip silence. Uh, if you don't have this available to you, you could edit them manually or whatever, but strip silence, you can set uh, these parameters so that they'll strip the silence out of each of these waveforms. And you pick those and you just click strip. Uh, individually And there you go, all the silence is stripped from all the WAV files in the uh, timeline there in the editor window. And what that helps with is uh, when you add plugins and stuff, if there's no signal being passed and there's no WAV file underneath, it will disable the plugin and save you some system resources. May or may not help. You don't have to do it, uh, but it, it kind of cleans it up, and then you can see where you have stuff in your session that you have to uh, work on, get to, or entrances, exits of certain instruments. Um, so we can start the mix now. You might want to listen through to make sure that uh, everything sounds right and you didn't cut more than you had to. Sounds pretty good. We're ready to mix. Mm -hmm. 